at 814, welcome back to Daybreak. When it comes to achieving your fitness goals, it's important to learn your metabolism starting point. And here to tell us how to reprogram our metabolism. I know a lot of us ladies are very interested Especially in this. Especially as you hit 30. Yeah, that's definitely the downhill battle right there. I guess uphill battle. Clint Howard <laughs> is here with us this morning. Good morning, Clint. Hey, good morning. All right, so first off, we have the body types. Mm -hmm. And we need to figure out what we are. Yeah, exactly. There's three, three body types, okay? So the first one is the ectomorph. The ectomorph is a person that you know they can eat pretty much whatever they want to and never gain weight, okay? Fast metabolism, I call this the road bike, okay? Lighter, smaller, built for speed. Then you've got the mesomorph. Mesomorph is a person that's usually 10 or 15 pounds away from their goal weight. Uh, they can lose weight or gain weight fairly easy. Um, so there's kind of a medium metabolism. I call this your mountain bike. Still has uh, speed, strength, uh, kind of a combination, durability. Okay, then you've got the endomorph. Okay, the endomorph is a person that is, you know, pretty much can look at food and seem to gain weight. Okay, so bigger, you know, bigger frame, bigger body. I call this your beach cruiser bike. Okay, it's the one that takes a little bit longer, a little bit more energy, you know, to get, get the results. So but Tell me this, uh, with obesity being at epidemic levels, does that mean that most of us are endomorphs? Or? Uh, just a lot of people are doing the wrong things. We're teaching the wrong things. We're teaching people eat less, you know, calorie restriction and, you know, just go more by dieting and not exercising. Really what we want to do is use food to create hormonal balance, okay, blood sugar stabilization. So you still want to eat smaller meals, but really eating breakfast, eating every three to four hours, eating a balance of protein, fat, and carbs. That's going to create hormonal balance, blood sugar stabilization. It allows our body to release body fat. Then we have to exercise, of course, to burn the body fat. So that's where I think people are m making the mistake. They're dieting, and so they lose weight because you're at an inflated weight to start with, and then you hit the plateau. And then you get frustrated, you quit, your metabolism's actually gotten lower, and then you gain the weight back. So people And it's easier it to gain it back because exactly. your metabolism and, has slowed. And you're, not, and you're not really creating any kind of lifestyle change. So it's really learning how to, you know, eat every three to four hours and just eat a balance of protein, fat, and carbs, and then exercise. And, of course, if you are an endomorph, a bigger body type, of course, you're going to have to exercise more than the ectomorph. That's just kind of part of it. So... That's Michelle had kind of mentioned, you know, I mean, it is, especially for women, as we get older, we yeah. do quickly find out that what we could do in the 20s, we cannot, we cannot do in the 30s. It's, it's I mean, it. This natural part of aging, once you get 30, 35, you start to lose a little bit of muscle mass. You know, things change, um, activities, sometimes lifestyle changes, you know, you don't work out as much. So it just requires a little more discipline, a little more effort, uh, but you have to know what to do as well, how to eat properly, not dieting is eating balanced, balanced meals. And you so. said ideally the goal is not to necessarily be an ectomorph for the super skinny one, it's to be a mesomorph. More of a mesomorph. I mean, understanding, you know, if you're an, an endomorph body type, you're probably not going to go to an ectomorph like a Victoria's Secrets model. Most people don't want to. You want to have a nice athletic medium. I don't medium, know that I would mind. Yeah, I, so, <laughs> so, well, sign so, me up. It is. And that's the thing. Uh, whether you're a, you know, a, what I mentioned, a road bike, a mountain bike, or a beach cruiser, all three can get to their destination. Some just require a little more effort, a little more discipline, and be willing to do that and you can still get great results mm -hmm. so great well Clint, so. thanks so much for coming in and explaining those three different body types if you want more information on reprogramming your metabolism go to fox23.com click on the fox box just search fitness with Clint